Good evening, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Late night in Florida, 10 p.m. Quick video. I just want to let you guys know that I picked up a L-band patch antenna from SDR Kits. And this antenna is really, really amazing what you can pick up. Let me just show you guys really quick uh, what I actually purchased. And I'll put links in the description. Now it's an L-band in Marset receive antenna from uh, 1540, and I believe it goes up to 1550. But I'll show pictures in a second. The antenna is super cheap. I've only had it for two days, and uh, the first day that I was using it, let me just show you the pictures. And this is what I did receive. It goes from 1535 to 1550, and it's powered off the RSP's bias T circuit. And the first day that I got it, I'll be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't get any signals. I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm mostly an uh, NHF listener. And let me just scroll through these pictures. You can see I was out in the car trying these antennas uh, out in clear sight, nothing in the way. And if I zoom in a bit, you'll see I didn't pick up, I didn't pick up a damn thing. So I did a little bit of research. I went online. And what I did do was I went to uBlock's website and they have a fantastic primer on patch antennas. And let me see if I can find that. And it's right here. And I wanted to know what the receive pattern was and the best place to place this on my car. Uh, because here in the house, I, I'm not going to be able to pick up the satellite that I want to pick up. And this... PDF file answered a lot of questions. It's not super technical. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. So after going through this PDF and then going to a couple of websites, I found out that the satellite I wanted to track was the Inmarsat 4F3. And its bearing is, I believe, 217. Let me just see if I can find it here. It wasn't on this site I was using. Uh, it was Dish Pointer. And I had to point it at 215 degrees from this location. I told it exactly where I was going to be. I told it what satellite I wanted to pick up, which was the Inmarsat 4F3, and it told me exactly where to point it. And what I did was I took my phone and I used the compass and I pointed exactly at 217 degrees, as you can see here. And I picked up a ton of signals, as you can see here, using that patch antenna from SDR kits and I was actually able to use uh, Jero and decode ACARS messages coming off that satellite so I just wanted to show you guys this uh, really quick so then my OCD kicked in and I'm looking up frequencies and I'm saying to myself there's a there's a lot and I know a lot of you guys are into L band and satellites and stuff like that so what I did was uh, as I said the OCD kicked in heavily and I took every L band frequency and let me just give credit where credit is due. I got the frequencies from uhfsatcom.com and I went to their L band section and I saw that they had a bunch of frequencies listed. So what I did was I copy and pasted all of these into notepad and I hand edited all of these frequencies into one SDR Uno bank as you can see here. Let me just scroll down. I think there's 500 entries. And as I said, I didn't type this. This isn't my list. I edited this for SDR Uno users and I cleaned it up and I added the trailing zeros uh, in the Hertz section, removed the decimals, changed the mode, cleaned up the description, and it's set for antenna A. The only thing you're going to need to do is if you're using this is what I suggest is shut off the AGC and enable, you have to enable the bias T and crank the gain to max. You definitely want to get this antenna from SDR kits. I've been exploring this L band and I'm hooked. So stick around. I'll do a bunch more videos on this uh, tomorrow from the car. It's going to be from the mobile phone, uh, but let's, uh, let's explore this. This is really fascinating stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, links are going to be in the description. You can download the list and uh, everything that I discussed here. I'll see you guys in the next video. 73s for now.